Lately, we've been working on adding sensory details to our stories to allow our audience to see and not just be told. So we're creating those mental movies using our words. Here's an example and an activity for you guys to work on. The first sentence is a very simple telling sentence. And it says, Grandmother Workman reached over and grabbed her grandson's arm. He was nervous because the staircase was so steep, but she leaned against him and they began to climb. Now we take that sentence, that telling sentence, and by adding some sight, taste, touch, smell, sound, and a simile, we end up with the following. Grandmother Workman lurched over and grabbed the pale skin of Randall's thin forearm with her leathery hand. The folds and creases beneath her skin coiled themselves out like electrical wiring, like the bloated, roughly textured relief map of the world that his mother just posted above his bedside table. Randall looked ahead toward the winding spiral staircase, fidgeted with a small hole in his baseball jersey, and bit his lip. His mouth, his mouth filled with the sweet, coppery taste of blood as she leaned in closely toward him, breathing her hot breath on the damp hair at the base of his neck. She smelled of wet cigarettes and bacon. As they slowly climbed the, the long, steep staircase, the only sound was his grandmother's labored breathing and the mournful creak of the wooden stairs. So now we see the difference between telling in that first section and creating a mental image for our audience as we have in the second. So the next time you revise your piece, try to add sight, taste, touch, smell, sound, similes, and even some metaphors.